Welcome to Eyes of Monitor. I have the honor to have here Nicholas Senios from TRC Colleges in the UK. You're an expert on the Azerbaijanian market. Um, let's talk a little bit about Azerbaijan today as an inbound market. How many students are going to study in Azerbaijan each year approximately? There is about 5,000 students studying now in Azerbaijan in different faculties, different universities, mainly this intergovernmental agreements, mainly people from uh, Turkey and Iran as they border Azerbaijan. Um, but they have a big diversity, about 30 different, 40 different countries that individual students have came to Azerbaijan before. Uh, they study, students started to come to Baku from the 70s. Uh, from the 90s, few universities introduced English as a medium f of instruction, which brought a lot more students to Azerbaijan. And now the universities, after putting a lot of money into infrastructure, are looking to having more and more foreign students into it. Tell me a little bit more about your background and the work you have been doing in the past years to raise these student numbers. Generally, um, the Azerbaijani Medical University is what our main partner because, as usual, medicine is the easy one to, to sell overseas. And if you see the, the investments they have put into the infrastructure, as well as in as the petrol engineering universities and so on, the ones that have really the potential of accepting a lot of foreign students. First of all, they have rebuilt a lot of infrastructure, um, clinics, uh, research facilities. And they put a lot of money into the human resource part, where um, they have mainly young, very talented, good English speakers. And they are bringing back even a lot of professors who went to work overseas. That means the government, I think, have a very good uh, policy of encouraging the good level of education for Azerbaijanis and foreign students. They don't really make a big distinction about it. They want really to have very good education for both local and foreign students. Mainly, this ratio is still very high of, uh, of Azerbaijani toward foreigners. But I think w working with agents from now on, which is, in, which is a novelty for Azerbaijan, will raise the numbers a lot. So before you mentioned that there's about 5,000 international students coming each year to study in Azerbaijan, how do these numbers uh, compare to the outbound numbers, to the students who want to study abroad from Azerbaijan? One of the points of good governments and education that's going on in Azerbaijan for the last years is that they have put a very big grants to help foreign students, help Azerbaijani students go study overseas. So this year about 500 students were sent on government or uh, sub-government scholarships overseas. Uh, most of them to very good uh, universities, special top 100, top 200 universities. These people are the, th the that means they are the future of Azerbaijan. And the government, I think, realizes very well. So uh, they have a list, of, they call this uh, government list of sports Not University, where a, all outstanding students in the Azerbaijani systems can apply and study overseas. I think about 2,900 something students are already studying in UK, US universities and somewhere else. And these are full scholarships or? Uh, generally, I think yes. And on top of the government one, I think there's few um, big government corporations that give more uh, scholarship. I met, being in London, I met a lot of Azerbaijanis who are studying really in the top 20 universities on full government scholarships. Tell me a little bit more about the education system in Azerbaijan. Uh, Azerbaijan have joined the Bologna system a few times ago. I think they're adapting all their programs to it. Um, Azerbaijani schools, most of them are renovated and have a big investment. This means the investment starts from the small, from the lower levels, from school level up to the high schools. This means I think well, I heard about a grant was given by the government to one of the schools to do IB programs. Uh, one of our partners is doing a lot of foundation programs over there. So they are really interested, especially in British education, which is very tempting for Azerbaijani. And most of the young children study, especially English and sciences, very well at the beginning. And they have a very good government 
control system over the education, which is one of the best maybe in the region. I think they try to prepare students from their young ages up to university level to have a degree that can be respected anywhere they go afterward. How are schools assuring quality in Azerbaijan as education? Generally, again, it's a, it's a, gov it's a government control system. And um, they, they do it both ways. I mean, you control the education, but at the same time, you invest in education. I was amazed to go to one of the schools in Azerbaijan, and when I went to their um, reunion hall, it looks like me like if you're going to one of the European parliaments or so on. That's mean the amount in investment in schools is really just amazing. Uh, so they, they couple it, they, they control the level, and they put the money to get the best available education for the students. You mentioned before that you recently started working with agents or the Azerbaijani university started working with agents. What do you expect from agents or what can agents do if they want to work with Azerbaijan? We have to understand that Azerbaijani universities really didn't need agents in the beginning because they were getting individual students. We had to, um, one of our work with the, uh, with the Azerbaijani universities was to introduce the role of the agent. I mean, um, I think we, 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 we managed to understand that an agent is not just a recruiter, it's a filter of getting better students. So as there, if the university is ready to pay a commission, not just to get an extra student, because with a little online or uh, Facebook advertisement or so on, you can get students. The agent's role generally is to filter students to get you the best out of a, of a pack. So uh, generally, small agents, um, have no big place over there because these universities generally are looking for serious partners, for long-term partners, people ready to invest in developing the, the image of Azerbaijan in their countries, not only from the commercial side, from the cultural and, f and f from the in inter -communicate intercultural communication ways. I mean, we want... Uh, I'm not Azerbaijani, but I'm speaking on behalf of the university I represent. We want people to know what is the education in Azerbaijan, not only to have students from them. This was the first part of ISAF Monitor. Stay tuned for the second part.